Hello everyone, my name is Peter and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about my memories of my confirmation and how the sacrament helps me in everyday life. So I remember preparing for my confirmation the teacher was talking to the class about how the apostles received the Holy Spirit and how they used that gift to express their faith and the learnings of Jesus throughout the world which makes us Christians today. So I remember the day very well of my confirmation. It was a nice bright sunny day in February. The family was all dressed. We went down to the chapel. I met my friends, my teachers before the ceremony. Everything was going great. Bishop Lagan took the day, God rest him. He took the day of my confirmation, so he does. And I remember in his homily very well, and I suppose everyone in the chapel did. He said this here, we shall not capture the day through a phone or camera but we should capture the day through our mind and our eyes. And he was right, because I do remember my confirmation very well, instead of through looking through pictures or anything like that, I kind of looked it through my mind and eyes. And I captured all of my memories of my confirmation through that. And it kind of did really help me through that too. Because whenever you use a phone or something like, it's just a picture, you can see it, but, it's not just, it's not the same, really. But after the, but as soon as I was getting confirmed in Christ, I remember Bishop Lagan holding the chrism oil and he confirmed me in Christ. My saint name was Anthony and I suppose all my friends and my classmates in my primary school all chose a saint that kind of reflected on their personality. And I remember Bishop Lagan telling me this here. He said to me that confirmation isn't just a big occasion that you celebrate. It's about expressing your faith and spreading the word of God across your community and, of course, outside it. Which kind of helped me in my everyday life, spreading my faith towards everyone in my community and, I suppose, outside it. And it kind of did help me, especially during COVID, through online, like my interviews and everything that I do in my parish. And I suppose whenever I done my Pope John Paul Award too. Which it did, really did give me confidence in spreading my faith and kind of showing everyone that, you know what, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to show my faith. And I'm, and I'm here to help. I'm here to help everyone. And I suppose I really did help everyone that was, that was in my school, in my primary school. And I kind of give them courage too, to say, listen, I, I am here to help. I'm here to express my faith and my learnings from Jesus. I suppose they did too, and... I suppose me as well. And I remember during COVID, we done a lot of activities through online. And all of, like, all, like everyone in our parish and everyone outside of it, surprisingly, even, even thanked us, like, for expressing our faith and how we link, how we link our teachings and I suppose our interviews with the learning of Christ. And I just couldn't, I like, wow. Like everyone was was expressing their faith towards us and thanked us for expressing our faith to them. And it gave us courage, like even in everyday life for me, it, it gave me courage to, I suppose, choose moral, choose moral decisions in my life, the right decisions. What am I going to become in the future? Like my career, my job, even in school, even in further school with subjects, like what do you want? What do you want to learn in the future? And confirmation really does help me through that because you receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit, which helps you to thrive in life. And I suppose to communicate with God even better and help you throughout your journey. And that's pretty much how, my, how confirmation really helped me in everyday life. And I suppose the memories really did Really, it did stay in my head instead of a phone or a camera, really. So that's it, really. Like, that was my memories. And I suppose the confirmation is, is really pretty much what you do, what you do every day. And I suppose an action what you do in Christ. And I suppose outside it, too. So thank you for listening.